On Yom Kippur, we have a very special Aftarev, the Aftarev Makhdi Yoyna. We lay at Incha, the Mokha Zegemara, Mara says we Makhdi and Yoyna. And the general reasons for it are, the Kolboi says two reasons. One is the fact that a person can't run away from Akadosh Baruch Hu, and that's something that Yona tried to do for good reasons, but on Everachim Panecha, there's no way a person can run away from Maishrelam. Um, a second reason is to be aware of the tshuva. The whole event was an event of a whole city being chosen with tshuva. And those are general reasons why it's very fitting for this day. Uh, unfortunately, somewhere along the line, um, the Indian of Ashiris got tagged on as a school of Ashiris. Um, not clear at all what the mucker is. Uh, there's, there's no mucker cadman that anyone is aware of. It's kind of very recent. Um, but al um people miss out on the real reason, um, it's, which is in Yanam of Chuba and so on. But Maftayayna carries in itself a much, much deeper element of Chuva. Um, certainly, the, the Inyanim that are there on the surface um, of, of the city doing Chuva is, is, is an oyer, the idea that you couldn't run away. But the Emes Maftayayna carries in itself a tremendous oymek in the Inyan of the Chuva of Yom Kippur, that's Miyuchet. This is especially appropriate. Mincha is a special man of tefillah, um, the Chazal list on Yo was Nene only B'Sha'as HaMincha. Yona Novi, Chazal tell us that he comes from Elio, was, it was the Talmud of Elio, was some connection with Elio, different Muslim and Chazal, that he sort of is a Ruch Nisik of Elio, and therefore, if Elio is Nene B'Sha'as HaMincha, then certain Yona is appropriate. But try to understand the yichud of this Indian of Yaina and the tshuva and the special knate of tshuva that's miyuchud to this, to this uh, sefer. Let's, the Rambam in Hilchis tshuva says that Yom Kippur is a zman tshuva l'koil, l'yachid rabim It's a zman tshuva for everybody. Of a Yochne Rabbim, for Kates Mechilo Sichel Yisrael. And it's a Kates Mechilo Sichel Yisrael. What exactly does this word Kates mean over here? What, what exactly are we, I mean, it, it's a Zman Mechilo Slicha. Yes, it is Zman Mechilo Slicha. What does the word Kates mean? In, 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 how does it exactly express itself? And I really would like to be, that's a misvainin on something um, deeper. The inyanim of the Yom are inyanim of a certain giluyim. Kadosh Baruch had to be megalik geula to the world. So the Pesach, Teira, Shavuos, the Yira, Rosh Hashanah, um, Simcha, Sukkis, each and every one is megala something. The emes, tshuva is not a lechatchila. Tshuva is when things became wrong, when things went awry, then there's a way to fix it. So it should be given as a zman of, um, not as a zman, it should be given in case of emergency. It's like, it's, it's imagine somebody is asked um, when they use, on which day of the year they use the emergency exit. Well, in the shul, you use the upstairs for Shabbos, the downstairs for, for weekdays, the side room for a simcha. You use the emergency exit when there's emergency. It doesn't go with a zman. So that Kaddish Baruch Hu should give a zman that's meyuchet for tshuva, for kapara, is sort of a tar to the sasra. It, it's ki'ilu that this is a regular part of something or other. This is something that's meant to be mezgala, but we're really talking about something that shouldn't be. Geul is, 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 is a positive um, attribute of Kaddish Baruch Hu. It, it reflects a, a, a positive development in the world. The same thing is true with Torah, same thing is true with everything. But if tshuva is, in case of emergency, do this, do this, do this. In, in case you messed up, you took a wrong turn, we calculate. But, but why in the world is this a zman and it's a zman of it? And the Rambam, that's the point the Rambam is making if you read it. 
Yom Kippur who's man tshuva l'koyl. It's as man tshuva. Always is good. It's struggles bro who's more as nene more to to rabbi more. But Yochad Ramam says it this man. But but it's because it's a zman. What does it mean that this zman is the zman of tshuva? Another point about the Rambam in Hilchas Tshuva that is fascinating. The Rambam um, he, 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 he discusses the idea of Yediyam Bechira um, in Hilchas Tshuva. That seems very, very strange. The Rambam, Yediyam Bechira is a fundamental issue in understanding Dark Hashem and the Bechira Sodom, obviously. The right place to put it logically would be in Surya Torah. The Surya Torah is that the Rambam discusses the fundamentals of, uh, the, the, of Yiddishkeit, and he discusses all the Nyanim of Emunah that are basic. Yedi is Hashem, Hashem is Echor, is not a Kuf, he goes on to Nevoah. These are all basics. So Yedi and Bechira has its, would have its place there. To put Yedi and Bechira into Tshuva, it seems to be a little far. Why in the world would that be the place to discuss Yedi and Bechira? Yedi and Bechira is relevant way before Tshuva. It's relevant uh, for the Mitzvah Krishna. Person does Krishna, does he have Bechira to, to say Krishna, not have Bechira to say Krishna. It's, it's every Mitzvah has the same paradox. And whatever answer you give, you're going to have to provide it for Kola Tere Kula. So if it has a place in Mishnah Torah, the place, the Chur, should have been Yisraeli Torah, not Hilchus Chuv. So um, I think that this is, leads us to understanding a, a, um, a much deeper way the, the music of Chuva in the format, in the form that we're discussing now. Normally, tshuva is like we said, somebody um, does something wrong. allowed us to be masakin. Tshuva is there as a personal uh, rectification, rehabilitation um, of something we did wrong and or we weren't good and so on. That's tshuva in its lower form, meaning in the form that's relevant to us. It's personal and it's relevant to people's personal errors and so on. But tshuva has a much deeper component. The Pasik says, and it's a Pasik we're all aware of, in that we lay in Dir Shashem uh, Bimatsai, that the um, Krobi Isaac which actually goes in these days. The Pusik says, Yazi Roshadak and Shavashavoisov, Kiloi Machavoisem, Machavoisechem, Maloi Darchechem, Drachen, Umashem. He go with Shemaim Arts can go with Drachem, Darchechem, Machavoisem, Machavoisechem. Akashro who says, Your Machavis and my Machavis, your Drach and my Drachim are very, very far apart. My Drachim, Ki govu shmaim eretz, ki govu drachim darcheichem, ashvay sem ashvay seichem. There is something Akadosh Baruch Hu's drachim and Akadosh Baruch Hu's machshavis are beyond machshavis adam and beyond darke adam. Ki kashe yeirid hageshem asheli gun hashemayim v'shomol lo yoshev kim heres eretz v'alida v'itzmicha. When geshem and shelag comes down to this world, it does not return until it's accomplished its mission. So, Kaddish Baruch Hu says that the Dvar Hashem comes to this world and it does not stop until it accomplishes what it sought to accomplish. And this is something that is described in the Psukim as being It this is this thing, this 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 description of the Dvar Hashem 
as coming and having accomplished what it seeks to accomplish is something that is um, unique to Dark Hashem. So, yes, Akash uh, Baruch has more power than we do. So, Malach Basadam can do a lot of things. Akash Baruch can do many more things, do everything. But, but this Merchak of Machvais, Machvais, Kigodu Shemayim Ma'aretz, King Kohu, what is that referring to? It's referring to the following. HaKadosh Baruch Hu speaks to us in Tzivuyim, and he tells us what we have to do. And those Tzivuyim are given to us, and we have Bechira to do them or not to do them. We're Baal Bechira. And yet, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Dibur never goes back Reikon. It's given to us a Sivuyim, and we have Bechira to do it and not to do it. And it may take a very long time, but it never comes back to Hadesh Baruch Reikon. I have a Raya, a Zechel Adav, at least, from the Rambam. The Rambam Hilkas Molochim, when he speaks about the Raya's from the Torah, that, that, about Mashiach, the Rambam brings an incredible Raya. He says there was a Tzivuy, the Moshe Rabbeinu, that they should separate six or a miklot, three here, three here, and kiyarchiv, another three. And they'll expand, there'll be another three that they'll have a chiv to do. The Rambam says they never ever um, made those or miklot. So it's going to have to come true. But it's not an avua, it's a tzivui. Akadosh Baruch Hu gave a commandment, it's a mitzvah, it's a chiv. So, so what's the riot? I mean, you know, just like all, somebody will come and say, how you talking? The Amish gave you so many mitzvahs and take a look how little you did. My answer will be, well, I have a chira. That's the, that's the mitzvahs. So what's the Rambam's riot? The answer is, yes, we have the chira and we have the chira and we could choose not to do it and choose not to do it and choose not to do it. At the end, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gets it done. If there was a tzivui to have another three hour miklot, then someday it'll have to happen. Any one person has bechira, and anyone could just shrug it off. But the dvar Hashem will be miskayim. And why it's the Messiah Mar is not this, this, this through some here. But the point is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's dibur, even if it's given to us as a tzivui, with Bechira, still it has, um, it, it has a point where it, 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 it becomes, it realizes itself. That's the Tvar Hashem. Ki govu shamayim oretz, ki govu dravnachichem, by us, we, if we give something to somebody, Bechira's Bechira, and I tell them, if you would like to, do this or that, there's no guarantee mitzad my dibur that'll happen. If it's a melech with a, with a, with a very strong army and, he's, and, he, and he gives it see what you have to do, you have to do it. But my dibur um, is a suggestion if I leave it at that. Akarish Baruch Hu's dibur is, far, is a very different world. And that's why it's not a stira to our bechira. Like the Rambam says, that this belongs, this 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 idea of Akadosh Baruch Hu is belongs to the world of Akadosh Baruch Hu. So we are bechira within the context of our understanding and our world. But Akadosh Baruch Hu's dibur is mitzad Akadosh Baruch Hu, and that's from a different world, and therefore it will realize itself someplace. Sometime it'll come to realize itself. So when we're talking about people's personal lives and personal tshuva, then the answer is yes. Everybody's bechira, and everybody could do, could not do. We could mess up, and then Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave us a chesed that we could do tshuva, and that works any time. But the bria as a whole was created 
so that a Kaddish Baruch Hu could accomplish what he wanted to accomplish. It's true that he gave us Bechira on the way for us to accomplish it. But the world must accomplish what a Kaddish Baruch Hu um, gave it to accomplish. And therefore, a Kaddish Baruch Hu set in the Bria itself a music of tshuva, not tshuva by, that by far surpasses the, 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 the um, personal tikkun, but tshuva as a way of realizing what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to realize. And that's perhaps why the Rambam puts this Indian of Bechir and Yediya in Hilchas Tshuva. Hilchas Tshuva on, 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 on our level deals with personal inyanim, personal chatoyim, personal tikkun. Tshuva in the capital tough with the big sweeping gamut of Tshuva deals with the fact that despite the fact that we have Bechira, the world will come to the place that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants it to come. That's the musig of tshuva in, 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 its, in, its, uh, in its big fanem. And that's why the, to, we answer the steer of Yedi and Bechira, that despite the fact that we're all going to do tshuva and the world will be good, it doesn't take away from our Bechira, and the Rambam Kemat rephrases the Pasik of Kigovu Shemaim Oretz, Kengovu Drachem That is the that is the the, the, the reason why Yidi and Bechir is dealt with in Tshuva. And this is where we understand that the Mahalach of our Bechira and the Mahalach of Tikkun Oilam, it's like Kadesh Baruch Hu, are two Mahalachim that for us are Saisa. But Akarish Baruch Hu's Gavu Shemaim and Gavu Drachim and Achechem, and therefore it has no stira and it will come true. Yom Kippur is the Zman of that Gilui. Yom Kippur is the Zman. When the Ramam says, Kates Mechila, O Slichel Yisrael, one hears in it, in those words, Kates Mechila, O Slichel that the hair of, 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 of a kates, a kates in the sense that things come to a final tikkun, like the kates hayomim, same word of kates. Kates means something that's cut off. Kates on the choshech. And, and, and it comes with a certain, um, it, it, it comes from the outside, a certain stop to the world of choshech. So too, the, the Yom Kippur is this man when the Ra in the world will come to an end through Mahal Chitshuva. Kiyudur, the Ramban, Rabbi Mechai, and others learn the parish of Chuva, Vesha, Veshafta, is Psukim of Haftacha. There's a Chiyu, there's a Mitzvah of Chuva, and there's a Haftacha of Chuva. And Akadish Baruch Hu told it to us in a Lashon of Haftacha, the place where the Tzivu and the Mitzvah and the Haftacha come together is Tshuva. Because that really represents, it's the one Mitzvah that represents both together. The Kates of the Zman Kapar and the, and the, and the, and the ultimate Bechira that a person not only can make a decision going forward, but a person can also make a decision on what was. That's the ultimate Bechir. So take a look at this extraordinary um, paradox. On the one hand, Tshuva expresses our Bechir to the ultimate. Not only can I choose where to go tomorrow, I can choose what I did yesterday. And Tshuva represents the ultimate in HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Yediyah, when he says, V'shavta, you'll you, you, you go back, you'll do tshuva, 
the, the, the world will come back to me. The ultimate in both of them come together in this extraordinary paradox because true becomes a world that is beyond. It's, it's the place where we express the Kigavu Shemayim Ha'aretz Kigavu Drachav Darcheichem. Yoyna Hanavi was sent out to address the, 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 the lowest elements of human society. The, 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 there wasn't, this wasn't the sort of metukonim shavahem. This wasn't the, the best. This was the powerful, the arrogant, the, the cruel, the bad, everything. That's, that's, that's who he was sent to, to, to be misakim. And he decided to use his bechira not to go. And Chazal give us the reasons why not. Chazal give us the reasons why he thought that for Kali Yisrael's sake, he, 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 he should not go. HaKadosh Baruch Hu forced him to go. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he couldn't, he had Bechira and he didn't have Bechira. The, 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 the ultimate that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to realize Shuva in the world is over here. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu um, forced him to do it, even though he had Bechira. The, um, the, 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 because HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to bring the Koyach of Tshuva into the world in terms of Tikkun Olam. Let's understand the final Vikuach between Yaina Navi and Kavi Yochel, the Rav Shalom. Akharish Baruch Hu brought the Kikoyan, Kikoyan dried out. Yaina was very upset. He told him, I hate the Lecha. And Akharish Baruch Hu told him, you know, you know, you're upset about a Kikoyan that bin Laila Hoya, bin Laila this, and, 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 uh, the, and, and a city that's so full of people and so on. He told him also, you didn't work for this Kikoyim. The application, that there's some sort of Amma and so on. What HaKadosh Baruch Hu was telling him is that the reason why HaKadosh Baruch Hu is chas on every Nivra is because every Nivra has in himself some Amma of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Kaviyachu. Every Nivra has a Dvar Hashem. And so long as there's a, there's a Nitzis in the Bria extent that, that is not B'tikunai, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will go all the way to bring it to its Tikkun. Because it's not only because it's good for it. That's, that's true on a personal level. It's because it's Rebbein Shalom's Nitzis. This is an Akuda of, of Toiv, of Chiyos, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put in the Bria. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Haftoche is that he'll redeem it at the end. It's not only Haftoche, it's, it's, it, it's Muchrak. There's nothing, nothing of the Dvar Hashem came to this world without accomplishing. It may take its time. Bechir is Chal on the time it takes. Bechir is Chal on the twists and turns. Bechir is not Chal on whether the Dvar Hashem will actualize itself or not. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu told him, this is a place that has Mitzaytzis, Nekudas, Inyanim, it's my Nivroim, and they will come, whatever could be misuken from it, will come to its Tikkun. The Arizal says, Tzaytis Nivroim, about Yaina, speaks about Yaina, you know, she's cash with Ayo, and, he, and, and he associates Yaina with Mashiach ben Yosef. We don't, we don't know what these things mean, but what it means is this is the beginning of, this is the beginning 
of the of 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 the of, of the, the, the redemption when when we understand that every dvar Hashem will come to its tikkun then we've started the process of geula once we inherit that it's muhrach that will happen this is a right this is something that after yom kippur of avida we're able to inherit and understand this mission of Yaina and where it's headed to and what it carries in itself. Let's try to give it some sort of personal sense as well. One, we all have different inyanim that we've struggled with and struggled with and struggled with to do, not to do, and at some point, a reasonable person throws up his hands. I mean, you know, you, you a person in, invests in a business. So a cautious person if gets bitten once, he drops it. Another person persists, a third person persists. But at some point, Gnug, how much more? That's because we have no assurance that it'll be successful. And therefore, if the Rebbeinah Shalom, therefore, if we, if we, um, if, if we, we, we use um, rational, we use rational measuring sticks, measuring rods, and we say to ourselves, one time, two times, three times, okay, it's not, it's not good, it doesn't work, whatever it is. That's all true about physical things and things that are shared to this world. But the world of tshuva in its big picture is kigovu, kigovu shemayim arts. It's something that is above and beyond. And therefore, there is always hope. A person needs to use seich and das, what to work first on, how to work, how to go about it, he can look for eights, he can think about it, he can prior, prioritize. Using Darke Seichel is definitely right. But being Miyayish has doesn't have a mock in the etzim because every Nekuda in a person's Neshama is Muftach at some point, it will come to its sticker. And if a person's Zeicher, then that then he's the one who brings it there. That's us personally. Yom Kippur after Yom Kippur, um, in terms of uh, our avoida and taking heart that there's always a reason to push forward. There's another area where I think it obligates us. And this is a very painful area. Unfortunately, Many people suffer from close people who've gone astray. It's something we never thought would happen. Baruch Hashem, we passed the door where everything was falling apart. And Baruch Hashem, today everything is going forward. And such Baruch Hashem, Siat Hashemai, and Ribu of, of, of everything. And yet, here and here and here and there and there and there, um, there are all sorts of things. And it's a, it's a tremendous Agnes Nefesh. And one of the ways to deal with Agnes Nefesh is to give up on a person. Now, sometimes, again, the fear Indian, still in Fashis, the fear Indian, um, if a person stares other people, there, there are all sorts of young why I might need to take certain steps. But the etzim to give up on a Yiddish and a Shama has no mockum. Even if it's filler from a heart that, that is sorry for the other person, a heart that yearns for the other person, not anger. For that, there's surely no reason to give up. And even to reach out again and again and again. 
because if we be maimen bemuna shleima, that there's a case of tshuva, and every single nekuda in the world has its its time and place when it'll come back. Yoyna was sent to Nineveh, and Yoyna didn't think he thought that Nineveh coming back is 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 destructive to the to the world. And a Baruch Hu told him no. In Nineveh, there's something good that needs to be brought back. Thinking and understanding that despite all the layers of, 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 of garbage, like Ms. Nefesh and, and, and who knows what, but there's, there's Haftacha. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent a Neshama to this world, there's a haftacha. That's mafdiyayna. And I'm not, that was not, I've seen incredible things um, where things, things you'd never believe turned around in certain ways. We don't know. And again, these inyanim are inyanim where people need to ask shaylas for people to understand. And, and, and it's, it, there are times to, Push it away for a while. There's times to to to, to deal with it in different ways because of other reasons. But mitzad the etzem inyan of a person understanding the Akharish Baruch Hu gave a haftacha of a shafta. Akharish Baruch Hu gave a haftacha of a shav. Akharish Baruch Hu gave a haftacha. Akharish every single neshama. Is 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 a a dvar Hashem that came to the bria, and it may take a long time, and it may and it may be misgalgal in mud, and 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 an incredible amount of shmutz and mud, but there's a ftocha that Hakadosh Baruch Hu will take it back, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu will bring it back. We, if we're lucky, can. Can can uh, bond our koyach of chira to that, and we can be partners to that if we do it minimally. If we keep our hope and our tefillas and do what it takes, as difficult as it is, to 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 bring a, 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 that that needs us back to bring our shemim back. So after Yaina is perhaps. The Hebrew moment of Yom Kippur, it's when we elevate ourselves above our personal chatoim and our personal shortcomings and our personal need for tikkun and tshuva, and when we take a look at the vision, at the vista of Achris Hayomim, and we understand Achris Hayomim and tshuva is Hainu Hach. Achris Hayomim is when the mitzvah that's most talking about here of tshuva becomes the chreach and the bria. And that every single Dvar Hashem that was in this world flowers and blossoms. And, and, and it, 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 the, 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 the kates, the kates of Mashiach, the kates of tshuva, is one kates. And the person who tried to run away from it is the person who brought it to us and gave us that feast and that Havana and that Nitzchias of Akash Prochus Hashem and ultimate Shuvah.